All right, first thing we got to do. Dungeons, dragons, create a character site. If there's any, if you guys complain about any, uh, like, visual things, I know the overlay can be a little distracting. <laughs> you know, what? let me try something here. Let me just make it a little bigger. Okay. Oh, now we cook. Hold on. There we are. All right. And then we get the website right here. I hate that the branch is blocking the search bar. But, you know, we'll take a little bit of the bottom off. There we are. Hopefully you guys can see that. Please yell at me if you cannot. <clears throat> We're going to be looking at the best online D&D. What you would call it? The creators. D and D Beyond. I don't have money like that. Who told you I got money like that? Character master, no dungeon masters. Well, hold on. If this is free, I like free stuff. Hold on. All right, let's let's get this Batman guy under. Okay. Oh, actually, it looks like we might be able to do something here. All right. One's allowing the SRD. Uh, just give me a little bit of illegal stuff. Come on. Fast character. Nah. Fight club. Let me try this. <clears throat> and it's a mobile app. Of course it is. Who the crap is my D&D character? We don't curse around here. But oh, this is a character creator. I just want like a little this. Oh my god! Okay, I've already got my I got my stats. I rolled them, so we're gonna we're gonna try and, and keep going, but. What's his name? Hawkman. <laughs> his age, I don't know, like 24. Oh, good lord. We might have to... Because uh, I, I need a multi-class into... I'm thinking Ranger. Because you know, Batman's street smart. He knows how criminals, like, you know, act. He's good at fighting them. I need Monk for the unarmed strike. Just that alone. And then I also need Rogue because, you know, obviously. I'm gonna, since we're starting at level 3, I don't think it starts, it, it matters what uh, class I start with. I'm just gonna go Ranger. Human. Where is it? There we go. Oh, good lord. I don't, it might not. What is this? <laughs> Character creator, but this looks like it's it's a adventure. What you would call it? Hold on, we are not. What is this? <laughs> nah, we got it. Here we are. <sighs> you know what? I got. I know this site <laughs> called UPF Character Sheet. Dot dot. Now, this is for Pathfinder characters, but, like, we, I don't see, I like this site because it's just, you can just edit whatever. It doesn't matter. You don't need, you don't need, um, what am I thinking of here? You don't need, like, a, a wizard that's going to take you through things. No, you just edit the site, but uh, the thing is, I don't like how the skills are not the same, you know. Pathfinder is a different attacking uh, like system and things like that. Simple character creator. 5e. Free and paid. Right. Oh, they really do hate Dark Reader, these sites. Dungeon Masters Vault. Fast CB. DD D next, not DND next. It's crazy. Nah, 
nah, nah, we ain't doing this. <laughs> more purple, more better. One of these is an IP logger. Okay, this looks too good. Like, I'm thinking this is some guy's, like, side side hobby or something. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on, chill. <laughs> I have to download it? What the heck? <sighs> nah, we ain't doing all that. The Roll20 Character Mancer. I just wish there was... Okay, I know you can't get... I I know you can't get, like, you know, you can't use official, uh, like, content, like Xanathar's Guide and all that crap on your website. Do these guys support homebrew? Because I remember using these guys. Oh. Okay, we can add homebrew? <laughs> Don't gotta tell me twice. Alright. We're gonna hit up 5e tools first. Hopefully you can multi-class in this bad thing, because I'm going to need a level in three different classes. We're going to go... Do they have variant human is the question. Here we are. Uh, sub race, does it matter? Hop off my body. Oh, don't tell me homebrew is some. You got to pay like six bucks. Thank God. All right. Oh my God. Look, I like it. I like it though. You know, you, you have, you need a lot of options because this is a, a very big game, but look, can I just say add feature? No, don't, not add feature. Just give me the custom. Just give it to me. Just give it to me. Just give it to me. They can't just give it to me. All right. We're gonna have to use one of the the player handbook uh, sub races. Come on, help me, please help. Me. All right, human. There we go. Very human. All right, let me get these. Let me get these things together. Let me skip this because it's a little loud. At least in my ears. And we're back like we never left. Human Khaled Khaled Shite. The crazy name, but okay. So summary pff, I should have probably learned how to use this before I got started, but we're we're gonna we're gonna keep going as we go. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna live it we're gonna walk it how we how we talk or whatever. <clears throat> I I've rolled my stats. Can I edit these stats right now? Can I? Okay. Well that that's good to know, but Okay, well, I, maybe maybe you do the skills somewhere else. Yeah, or over here. All right. So, next. Since we got that. Click here to add a class. We're going to go... You know, if we're doing... I'm not going to do starting equipment because I'm an advanced player. So, I'm going to use the generate wall system. And if we do that, then we need to... I'm going to probably use the one that gives me the most uh, money. So, I don't know if that's rogue monk or ranger i believe it's probably rogue I, I think monk it's nothing but the clothes on its back so they don't have the, the mount you need to roll all right so let's go uh dnd beyond they don't have it here either all right well i'll, I'll look it up in my actual player's handbook i don't want to be yeah, I don't want to be like on the physical book you guys can't see, so we're gonna we're gonna ranger one. Alright, favorite terrain. Urban should be here. Let 
me look it up. Could have sworn favorite terrain had an urban option. Or is is it not called favorite? Yeah, it's called favorite terrain. There's favorite enemy in natural explorer. This this might be a, a Tasha's. Uh, you can pick this instead of that type of thing. If, and if that's the case, then they make it so hard just to just to get info on the game. That's why I love Pathfinder. There's just a giant wiki. It might be a little buggy. It might be a little. You know, a little dangerous to navigate if you just start going clicking links, but it's got everything. Where is my favorite terrain? Or is it is it a part of favorite enemy? Type of natural or okay. Does it for four grass mountain swamp or the underdark? I guess it doesn't. I, yeah, I guess it doesn't uh, doesn't choose urban, so or it doesn't have an urban choice. So that's an L. Um, I'll probably talk my DM; he'll allow it. But little lame was the coast, but especially because in the Ravnica thing, they don't even have any of these. It's just city. I don't know. Maybe maybe it wasn't made to play that or something. Uh, you know, we're just gonna do type humans because you know Batman loves beating the crap out of people. Or or humanoids. I could have sworn. Oh no, you you choose two humanoid races. I forgot. There's no human human. I can't do just human. Does not like. Not just humans. I guess I cannot. Alright, well. Why am I going to Ranger again? I guess we'll do two humanoids. And we'll just choose. Like my, my DM already knows about all this crap. So. You know. Oh. Oh. Sunk anything and make it homebrew. Here we are. <coughs> My bad. Ooh, I'm gonna make this herb. All right. Okay, 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 okay. We got class and oh, we need another class. Oh, I don't. I need to get the attributes right. All right. So I put. I rolled an eleven, a seventeen. Uh, a 12, a 16, a 13, and another 12. So we're going to put the 11 in strength because nobody loves strength. Improvement race, fury, human. No, yeah, just give me manual entry. 11, 17, 12, 16, 13, and not 13 again. This is 12. Oh, snap. I didn't even see you there, Cthulhu, Cthulhu X. Cthulhu X. I got it. Uh, hey, <laughs> you're like the first chatter I've ever had. Uh, hopefully you weren't waiting that long. I don't really check chat because it's usually empty, but come up with a brilliant villain, the Goblin Narman, fighter alchemist who throws bombs and rides a giant bat. He hates to drown all things spider related. I'm mean, of the clan Osborne. And that sounds really cool. Especially the flying bat, considering what we're making today. But, uh, you know, welcome to the stream. Make yourself comfortable. Alright, there's a lot of space to make yourself comfortable. Especially in the chat room, but... Uh, if you have any ideas, just holler. Hopefully the audio's okay. Visual's coming through just fine. Uh... Yeah, we're just working on ability scores right now. So. I rolled that. I figured the comic book character idea deserved another one. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not really... I was always a DM guy, so I was never... Not that really uh, well-versed in making characters. 
but I did think just making I don't want to make like Batman like oh I'm a badass I talk like this like Batman I'm trying to make Dollar Tree McDonald's like toy Batman I'm trying to make you know, this guy thinks he's Batman but you know he's just an idiot I just think it'd be funny but no that's <laughs> that goblin thing is jeez if I saw that yeah, he's the guy wearing hockey pants. You know, he, his bat cave is like his mother's garage, you know, stuff like that. Batmobile's like an old Subaru. Yeah. We got uh we got some ability score improvements from the varying human. I'm also trying to think of what feat I'm going with. I'm thinking of cuz you know, D&D just has so much magic in it. I might as well just reflavor the spells as uh spells it's like bad gadgets so like i'm thinking i got my notes here like thorn whip is the like the bat zip line the bat grappling hook if you if you know what i'm talking about uh i need because batman i looked it up on the dc wiki batman uses explosives he uses batarangs which we can we can just use as like thrown daggers also, this Batman isn't called Batman. He's called Hawkman. We, we gotta make that, like, dollar store, like, RC Cola comparison work even more. But, you know, let me get these, let me get these ASIs now. You gotta put an 18 in Dex. I gotta, I gotta stun on these dudes. <clears throat> my bad, I just had to clip my throat there. I'm thinking... 18 in Dex... We don't really need strength. I don't think so. All of our attacks are going to be made with dexterity. So. I'm thinking we just round out, round out all the odd numbers. And just pick uh, pick wisdom. And then we'll go from there. I got a, I got a crazy little multi-class here. I'm thinking. I don't know if we'll make it to level 20. But. I have it planned out roughly, it's subject to change, that I'll take three levels in Ranger, seven levels in Monk, and then eventually, um, oh no, three levels in Ranger, subclass the Gloomstalker, because they can, they can teleport in darkness and shadow and crap like that, and that's Batman right there, seven, uh, seven levels of Monk, away of the shadow, just to get, you know, unarmed damage die up there too. And then 10 levels of rogue because Batman's Batman's a rogue. But uh if you guys know any like strategies or any like min-maxing things, let me know. Any ideas? I'm I'm not really never really been a min-max, so I like the more roleplay aspects of uh Dungeons and Dragons more. But we get a feat, that's a very inhuman. So Let's see what we can get here. I've been thinking of, I think, oh, there are so many fates. <coughs> aye, aye, aye. Skulker? Hold on. I, you get this, I believe you get this with a monk. Or maybe, yeah, I think you get this with either a monk or the rogue, so I don't think we'll really need it. Skill expert. Batman really is like a, a jack of all trades and a master at everything at the same time, so. Plus, I mean, more skills on top of Rogue. I don't think that's gonna hurt. But the first level feat. I gotta see here. Aberrant Dragon Mark. I'm thinking, I do want to make that Dollar Tree like Batman, but I don't want him to be, you know, like an actual like wet noodle when it comes to combat. <clears throat> you know, I don't want to like gimp myself just for fun and then be like a detriment to my team. So I'm going to, I'm going to write down all the Batman feats I'm looking at here. So alerts one of them. I 
Athlete's another one because Batman can climb like nobody's business. <coughs> I'm putting that one on the list. Climbing doesn't cost you. You can, when you're prone, standing up only uses five feet. That's like the little ninja get up thing that they do. At least, like most superheroes do. Charger, Chef, Crossbow, Crusher. Yeah, no, nah, not Crusher. Dragonborn, uh, Durable. I don't know. I never really liked the. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not like a mid max. I never really liked the HP feats. Eldritch Adept. <laughs> the Eldritch Invocations are also something we could look at. There's probably something really Batman in there, but I I don't want to role play having like a dark deity on top of all the other crap that I got to role play as because I got. I'm three way multi classed right now, so. I'm trying to keep complexity to a minimal. I might just say screw it, leave the ranger out. But that Gloomstalker teleporting in the shadows stuff, that's. God. What do y'all think? Leave the ranger out and just go like 10 monk, 10 rogue, or maybe like 10 monk, uh, not 10 monk, like 8 monk, 12 rogue. I don't know. Fade teleportation. I wish they had a fighting style for unarmed people. <clears throat> yeah. It doesn't have to be something like huge. It just has to be like, I don't know. I had to mute the mic right there. I was coughing. I don't think any of these are going to do it. Inspiring leader, perhaps? I don't know, Batman's more of a vigilante. I don't think he would hang out with... He's got, like, the Justice League, though, but I don't... I don't think this is not gonna be the Justice League. This is gonna be like the the Monty Python penis crew. So Keen Mine. That's another one. Keen Mine could work. I hate that. I hate it as a, not, oh, I don't hate it as a DM, I just think it's kind of obnoxious when <laughs> your keen mind player goes like, oh, I know the way north. I know it. You can't steer us the wrong direction, you know. I, I'm, I'm complaining for no reason, I'm just, I'm having fun, don't worry. The linguist. Nah. Magic Initiate might be it, just to get some more, like, bat tools, or hawk tools in this case. I'll keep it in mind. You learn two maneuvers, that might be, hold on, this might be it. I'm gonna have so much crap that I can do. Race. We'll look at this later.
mobile mobile's low on the list, but it does make sense. Batman's a mobile guy. Just running around. <laughs> you know. Just running around. Yeah, that's all Batman does. Observant is probably another one that's high on the list. Ritual caster, savage attacker. Yeah, I don't think Sentinel's gonna be it. Shadow touched. I'm not gonna role play it. Sharpshooter actually might be it because if we're throwing those those hawker rings, <laughs> then you know having having like it's only twenty feet for like a a dagger. Can't you throw daggers? You you can throw daggers, but they only have like twenty feet or so. Yeah, twenty sixty. Sixty feet, no no disadvantage is crazy. Plus, you get sneak attack on top of that. I'm just saying. I don't know. We might have like I might need to look at throwing builds because I'm really just gonna be throwing batterings and punching people. Yeah, Sharpshooter is definitely on the top of the list though. What's that? Minus five, plus ten. Oh, on top of sneak attack too. Who made this feature? Who made this feature? Skill expert. I, I I'm gonna get my fair share of skills from Rogue. Skulker. Oh, babe. I might need that. Skulker and Sharpshooter. They're they're tossing for position here. Shoot, I might need that. Slasher, nah. Squat nimbleness. It's crazy. Strixhaven, and Tavern Brawler. Telekinetic. Telepathic, tough warcaster, weapon master. Wood elf. Nah, okay. I think we got all of our feats that we would like. So I got everything. I got sharpshooter. Just in case y'all don't know. Sharpshooter. Pause the video, the live stream, whatever you'd like to see it. Skulker. Which these two are at the top of the list. And I'm looking. <sighs> the MLI doesn't post his advantage. Ah, nah, Skulker definitely wins. Just with the just with the third one down there. Because come on, this is Batman. Like he has those like white eyes that glow in the dark and crap. Come on. So other other feats that we can get at uh, later dates, observant. So quick to notice details, right there. Add something creature you can uh, lip read people, and you get a plus five year passive perception. Alert, which I'm pretty sure this is just good all around. Can't be surprised while you're conscious. Yeah. Athletic or athlete. This just it just seems Batman, you know, just he gets knocked down, he gets right back up. The jumping yeah, it's alright. Climbing Climbing with the monk too is crazy. Because you can just run straight up walls and crap. And that doesn't cost you any movement. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Athlete keen mind. Increase your intelligence, always know which way it's north, know the numbers of hours left, actively recall anything you heard in the last month. Magic initiate. 
just for this is the battering not the battering this is like the bat utility belt and mobile you're exceptionally speedy and agile so speed increased by 10 feet when you use the dash action action difficult terrain doesn't cost you any movement you guys get it all right i'm going skulker i'm going skulker is that a player's handbook thing i want to make sure it's in like homebrew or anything like that yep we're good add feet <sighs> good lord okay well i only really needed the options i didn't really need to make a character in uh in dungeon master vault i just needed the options all right hold on let me let me get the ability scores right okay we add a feat look we know we're going with skulker all right we're good it doesn't add anything no all right we're good skulker i'm circling it on my notepad i'm putting some exclamation points at the end that's the one we're getting all right class and level okay so we got gonna go with monk give me a level to monk all right favorite enemy favorite terrain all right this is all home Bruno. don't trip and then we're also going to get a level in rogue so i don't believe i don't think you choose anything for ranger monk or rogue well you choose you choose your favorite enemy and stuff for ranger monk i don't remember defense of martial arts still no, you don't choose anything And a rogue, I don't believe. You just get... Oh, no, you gotta choose expertise. That's a skill thing. We'll get back to that. Base is 8. We got 26 starting hit points. We are Batman. Well, well we're Hawkman, not Batman. So, we are going to be... You know, there. there's a lot of debate if whether... Batman's lawful good or chaotic good. Hawkman's gonna be neutral then, through and through. All right. Background. Now I was thinking, for the backstory, that I don't want it to be a one to one of Batman. I I want like. I want there to be some inspiration, yeah, but I don't want there to be one to one. So I'm thinking this guy is a tavern keep. In like a shady part of town, because I my my DM said this is some dark fantasy. People die in the streets. It's so sad, bro. It's like The Witcher, you know. Uh, just angst everywhere. So because of that, I'm gonna. It's like we're we're a tavern keeper. We're in a shady part of town, and then the tavern keep moonlights as Hawkman. <laughs> so he'll hear. You know, oh, like some rough guy talking about we're gonna like murder this guy. At, I don't know this area or something like that. And then Hawkman appears in the night and flies over the city that my DM has not given me the name for. So I don't, I don't know if there is a five E like tavern keep business owner background. <clears throat> I'm thinking like, you know, th this was like passed down to him from his folks. So. Inheritor. I'd like noble with retainers. Because I feel like you could make this work with the, um, the whole, you know, passed down. Plus this guy's going to have people working under him. So. Plus, it kind of fits with the, you know, uh, Bruce Wayne being a noble, and he's got retainers being, like, 
uh, Alfred and uh, Robin or Dick Grayson, whoever. I don't even know like the difference, but there you go. Plus, it also gives me an avenue if I have like some guy that makes uh, like tech for me. If we want to go that route, I can have a guy that makes tech for me or like some uh, innovation. Oh snap! I did not see, but the here we go. All right, just had to just had to fix that. I did not see that. Uh, you know, it would make sense if we want to go the more technological route, not the arcane route. We reflavor the spells. Then I can have somebody a retainer that makes the things for me because I'm already stretched thin as it is. So. Having somebody else make that, I go like, oh yeah, Hogman uses it and crap like that. We'll be good. Uh, so noble retainers. Not noble knight. Retainers. Skill proficiencies. Oh, baby. Ranger, Rogue. Okay, but the Rogue, you gotta go Stealth. You only get one as the Rogue? What if you smoke it? You choose four. Am I... Am I bugging? Yeah, no, the Ranger, you choose three. And I got three up here. So... Investigation, perception, insight. Yeah, let me get four. All right. Sleight of hand, persuasion, acrobatics. For varying human, we get a skill also. Oh, I'll go history. Yeah, you gotta be you gotta be history with uh gotta you gotta go history with uh Hawkman. So let me let me write this down so I can actually put it on paper once I get my character sheet. So rogue, we did stealth, sleight of hand, uh persuasion and acrobatics. Ranger, we did insight, investigation, and perception. And then with monk, I don't know why the the options aren't here, but monk, how many do we get? We get two. Oh, we, we basically have all of them. Well, we don't have athletics, so. <laughs> we'll do athletics and religion. For Monk. Alright, that's a lot of proficiencies. And then for variant human. Oh my god. <clears throat> my bad. But for variant human, I didn't. Know. Let me just double check. And you get the skill proficiency. I'm pretty sure you do. I got, I'm gonna have like 16 different languages too. You have proficiency in one skill of your choice. All right. Uh. Intimidation. Not his. No, no, you have to do history. <sighs> now let's do history. All right. I'll pick up. I'll pick up intimidation while I pick it up. But then expertise. We're gonna put expertise in stealth, of course. And uh, you know what? Not sleight of hand. Not. I feel like acrobatics.
Investigation, nah. Batman's world's best detective. We gotta go investigation. So, those are our expertise. When you multi class, maybe it's a thing with you, like multi classing into multiple classes. It's that you don't just get all the skills. I gotta look up the multi classing rules again, but. Because the languages are two, and it does seem ridiculous to get like six different languages. No, you get languages based on your race, never mind. <clears throat> and Varying in Human gets another one. So I'll go with I'll go with whatever my DM says is like the criminals languages. I don't know. I probably probably draconic. Just because I'm so smart and <clears throat> elvish if I'm around a bunch of elves. Spells uh, uh, yeah, we don't get any spells at third level. Thank the Lord up above. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just use gold for the, uh, for the equipment. And yeah, I think we're good. This is a third level bad man. <clears throat> man, I like it. I thought if you multi-class, you got more. I gotta look at the rules. For, I really should have. I really gotta get prepared for this crap. But I got all my notes. I just wanted to run through it on stream in case anybody had any ideas or anything like that. Anybody have any suggestions? <clears throat> but I believe that don't that'll do it. Uh, equipment. I'm just gonna get some some basic stuff. Gonna get some throwing daggers or anything that can't be thrown. Uh, I'll make hawker rings, <laughs> not batarangs. Uh, work my DM, see what tech I can get. Yeah. That's everything. I mean, we can look at the feats too. <coughs> 1d4 plus 4, and then the 1d6 from Sneak Attack. Because that's going to, whenever I get advantage, it only happens once, so remember. Uh, but whenever I get advantage, Sneak Attack on top of the Martial Arts die, or <coughs> the Battering, uh, whichever one I choose to use. I'm definitely at both ranges. But yeah, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what? Donate to <clears throat> use the command donate. Donate to the the baby diaper drive. You know, let me look it up. Let's see if we have anybody. Uh, yeah. I should have just clicked the link in the chat. Oh my god. So, nobody donated, but, you know, it's a thought that that matters. I'll be back on tomorrow, hopefully, if I'm up to it. So a little congested. You heard me cough a little bit. Heard me clear my throat, but... Hope you enjoyed. If you did, it would mean so much if you followed either the Twitch channel or the YouTube channel your choice I'm not gonna force you <clears throat> uh, hope you have a good night wherever you are hope you enjoyed the stream but I'm gonna get on with my Friday night eat something maybe hit the hay I'll see y'all tomorrow hopefully <laughs> <laughs>